Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome everybody to our 2020 promotional ceremony. Uh, my name is Jason Miller. I'm interim fire chief right now. I am extremely proud to be here this evening. We have six individuals who will be either promoted or sworn into their positions this evening. Um, it's been a long time in coming for some of these individuals, and they've advanced and overcome quite a bit of diversity in their lives to get to where they are at today. We hope to see that continue. Um, to start off with, I'd like to welcome our fire department chaplain up to lead us in the invocation, followed by the pledge, and then we'll begin the ceremony. If you all would uh, pray with me. Gracious Heavenly Father, as the Chief said, this has been a hard road for some people with what is going, had been going on, has been going on. I thank you for this opportunity to have family and friends to celebrate the hard work and the accomplishments of these members of this department. We know that uh, you have been with us the whole time, and we ask that you continue to be with us tonight with our families, with the firefighters, with the promotees, as they celebrate this opportunity because of all their hard work. It's a time to celebrate. It's one that we haven't had a lot of opportunity to do. I ask all of this in your gracious and holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain McChrystal. So it's, it's very humbling to be up here, getting to see some of these people be promoted. Uh, I remember I was a firefighter when one of them got hired here, and we had a long conversation behind Fire Station 32. And I've gradually watched this person progress and overcome quite a bit of uh, uh, events in her life. So it's kind of a proud moment. All the, with these other people, you know, I've watched every one of them get hired, and there's no greater honor than to be here and see them get promoted. Before we get to the fun part of it, which is the promotion ceremony, I'd like to recognize some of our dignitaries that are here this evening. We have Mayor Nathan Blackwell. <laughs> City Manager Bill Sturgeon. <laughs> Deputy City Manager Veronica Miller. <laughs> Public Safety <laughs> Director Pete Gauntlet. Kissimmee Fire Chief Jim Walls. We also have Deputy Chief Rich Tonks. Deputy Chief Dara Hennessy. Assistant Chief Nate Irving. Assistant Chief Hoquin. Assistant Chief Peterson. Last but not least, Taylor, Assistant Chief Jovan Rodriguez. Chief Thompson regrets that she was unable to be here with us this evening. She had a family emergency so that she had to go take care of, so she was not going to be here to take care of this first swearing in. Um, with that, I'd like to invite Assistant Chief Alicia Weaver to the front, and whoever would be pinning her.
Next up, remember when this gentleman got hired and we said he was going to go places and he was going to go there fast. Uh, he was one of our group that got hired about seven years ago. Uh, we're very proud of him. He's accomplished a lot in his short tenure here. I'd like to invite up David Miller. And who's going to Yeah. We're going to go a little out of order here. Waiting on some more rounds. Next up, another one from the group, Mr. Craig Bronson.
Our next promotee is firefighter Alex Capriscal. This I'd like to invite up Deputy Chief Richard Talks for the next word. Good evening. This past August, the Fire Prevention Division has expanded once again when we added Fire Inspector Christina O'Rourke to our family. Christina has been a true asset to our team and has immediately shown initiative by taking on several special projects and quickly self-taught herself and us how to use our new computer software Mobilize. Being a fire inspector is a crucial role in any fire department and the primary goal of every fire department. Inspections build relationships with the business community, makes the building safer for our businesses, their customers, and our firefighters. And remember, fire prevention was not just a program that was added to the fire service. Fire prevention is the solid foundation that the fire service was originally built upon. So at this time, I would like to officially and publicly welcome Christina O'Rourke to the St. Cloud Fire Rescue Department. And I would like to ask Christina and Seminole County Battalion Chief Dave Grant to come up, please.
Last but not least will be engineer Robert Wise. Come forward. Kind of cool seeing all these young kids and the babies here in the crowd. So, you know, COVID has made us change the way we do a lot of business in the department, including these swearing in ceremonies. Uh, so we kind of changed it up at the last minute. Uh, but this time I'd like to invite Assistant Chief Alicia Weaver back up to the front. Next up, we'll bring Robert, or I'm sorry, David Miller, Lieutenant David Miller. Now we'll do Lieutenant Wise. Engineer Craig Bronson. Engineer Alex McChrystal.
One of the duties of a city manager is always to appoint directors of a department. It's an honor to do this tonight. The Maltese Cross, it's a symbol of brotherhood. It's a symbol of protection. When the Knights of Malta used to shield their brothers when their uh, flammable liquids were thrown in and they were set on fire, they would put themselves before others. That's what this badge means. When you become the fire chief of an organization, you put yourself after your troops. It is an honor and privilege to do this tonight, and the power invested in me as a city manager of this charter of the city of St. Cloud to appoint Jason Miller, the next fire chief of St. Cloud Fire Rescue. <laughs> Still kind of speechless. I actually had this great little story I was going to do for closing remarks, and that kind of just got shot out of the water a little bit. Let's people go through and shake some hands here for a second. Seriously. <laughs> so I had this speech prepared somewhat of uh, expectations, and uh, I kind of just got thrown out of the window because the expectations changed about five minutes ago now. I'm very proud of everybody here. Everybody gives their heart and soul to this department in different ways at different times. This COVID thing, although it hasn't impacted us, as badly directly as it has other places, has set an atmosphere where crews and people just have a constant stress upon them. The way we handle that stress, obviously, is we sit around the dinner table, we break bread, we laugh, we joke, we play, we play the pranks, we laugh at each other, make fun of each other. We ask for tiller trucks. <laughs> But seriously, we are a family here at St. Cloud Fire Rescue. First and foremost, we're a family. Our jobs to take care of each other. We all go home at the end of the day. I don't care what it takes. We go home at the end of the day to our loved ones. Our most important job is to take care of 
them and ourselves, our co-workers. I'd just like to thank everybody for being here. Um, kind of just um, taken aback. I'm excited, I'm scared, I'm nervous. But tonight's not about me, it's about these individuals out here. We have brand new leadership on the shift levels. We have brand new leadership at the station levels. We have up and comers who are soon to be promoted. I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you once again. And uh, thank you for being here. At this point, we're gonna have the families be able to come up and take some photos up here. I know there was some family groupings that wanted to get together and do that. Um, feel free, we have the room pretty much for the rest of the night since the other group got out of here finally. Uh, appreciate y'all coming once again.